Konnichiwa YouTube! Welcome back to Arc Age 2.0 with your host only one Shinobi and today this is going to be the last episode in the 2.0 mini-series I suppose as the uh, Blood Song 2.5 patch is coming out soon as you all may know. So um, according to the forums here uh, the patch is going to go out tonight uh, the 26th uh, Tokyo time, I guess, morning of the 26th for those of you who live in North America. Uh, the server should be done for five hours and there will be a ton of updates. It's a big one. Uh, so, um, just wanted to make a short video to let you guys know where I've been uh, since the submarine video. Basically, uh, in preparation for 2.5 patch, um, I downloaded the PTS and now I'm having troubles getting back into the normal server. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to follow up with a uh, video on how the treasure hunting currently is, but it should be changed in the patch and I'm excited to go give that a try with my new submarine. So, in this episode, I thought we'd just Take a quick look at the changes that they have announced are coming um, and so we'll take a look there the first and foremost what people have been waiting for for a long time are the tree houses so blood songs tree houses are finally coming um, these are the tree houses that will give you thunderstruck logs um, as well as some orchard puree i guess is something else you can harvest uh, it appears that the oak cherry and aspen are all going to be released as in Merit Badge store, which um, I guess is okay. I mean, I guess originally they said there would be a credit option, which there is, uh, Merit Badge, and I was hoping for loyalty. I'm really disappointed with loyalty updates, uh, just to let Tryon know. Um, I have over 1,000 loyalty because there's just nothing that I really want to spend it on. I'm not interested in spending it on uh, mounts and mount armor, since every new mount comes out has to have special loyalty armor. Um, I was really hoping that one of these would be in the loyalty store, or at least something cosmetic in the loyalty store that I can actually use, but it hasn't really happened. So I'm just gonna have to save it for that black pegasus whenever it finally comes out. Uh, so anyway, the Oak, Cherry, and Aspen are all available for Merit Badges. It's 500 Merit Badges, which is, I don't have, so I'm going to have to uh, get started on collecting more of those. Uh, and then the Birch Tree House, which is 4,000 credits. Uh, now, you can buy the Birch Tree House and then upgrade that into the other types um, if you don't have the Merit Badges and you'd rather just spend money. Um, that is something you can do. Now, according to this, uh, you can harvest Thunderstruck Logs as well as Orchard Puree. Now this is not going to give you Thunderstruck Trees, so I'm assuming the price of Thunderstruck Trees will stay the same, but the prices for Thunderstruck Logs might go down um, unless you can actually turn them back into trees, which I'm not sure if you can. I'd have to check on that. Um, as well, uh, it's saying here that um, there are many other features including an upgraded thatched farmhouse. They have special, um, special things on them, I guess, depending on which type of farmhouse you have, additional yields. Um, and then the housing updates. This is something that I was excited about. Uh, there are new Eastern style or Haranian style private workbenches, as well as the black tile mansion and upgradable Harani mansion. So this is something that I've been saving for. Actually, I've been purchasing stone and lumber and uh, saving those up as well as blueprints. If you haven't done so already, you want to buy those as soon as possible. I'm sure that the prices are going to go up after the patch when people are uh, redoing that. It does take a lot, uh, 100 blueprints, which cost a lot of money. So uh, if you're rich and you want to upgrade your mansion, go ahead and do that. Uh, the second major thing that's coming in the update is the Blood Song or Mist Song Summit Dungeon. Uh, this is going to be one of the biggest dungeons and I'm actually kind of excited to do it. Um, I used to be a raider back in World of Warcraft, so uh, I also played some Rift and other MMOs as well. Uh, so actually getting to do some dungeons that are actually kind of fun might be interesting. Uh, and so here we've got uh, a new big dungeon with three major bosses and multiple paths and all of that jazz. So it looks kind of interesting and the lore behind it is actually pretty cool. So go ahead and prepare for this. Uh, it seems like uh, upon release they mentioned in the live stream that only two versions are going to be available. The easy and normal version and it should drop armor. Um, I believe that the weapons are available in the hard uh, version or advanced version, whatever they're going to call that. So. 
uh, the dungeon's coming out as well, so get prepared for that. Uh, get your friends together and go ahead and uh, go into Miss Song Summit. Um, the last and final note I wanted to mention, and I don't have a website to show this, is the changes in the treasure hunting. I'm kind of really looking forward to this. There will be treasure hunting dailies uh, for a short time during the event, and uh, there are new features to that as well. So that's something I'm going to get into as soon as the patch comes up. Uh, look for those videos. Uh, well, I guess this weekend, as soon as the patch is live and I'm able to actually sit down and record. So, uh, thanks for watching, and again, sorry that I haven't uh, been posting recently. I've just been locked out of the main servers, but we should be back in business as soon as the patch goes live. Um, yeah, that's gonna be all. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Shinobi out!